Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing some acrylic pouring. We're going to be making some flip cups, but check out these cool cells that were left over in my cup after I did my flip cup. I thought these were so fun and wild. I just wanted to include these pictures to show you guys how cool that was. I'm going to be using my premix ready to pour paints from Michaels, the Artist Loft brand, in black, neon rose, and titanium white. These paints are so easy to use, you just have to shake the bottle and they're ready to pour. I'm going to be adding some silicone oil to the black and the neon pink, so I am pouring these two colors into separate cups. And I'm going to be pouring the titanium white in these two cups here that we're going to be using for our flip cups. And I'm going to be using the Artist Loft brand silicone oil, which is this here. I'll link all these products down below in the description box. And I'm going to be adding three drops to my black and my neon rose. I'm going to go in with a little stir stick, a popsicle stick, and give these a good mix. And then we'll be ready to layer our cups. So the cup on the right, we're going to do titanium white. That one has no silicone oil. Then the neon rose. And then the black. And this cup here, we're going to do titanium white, no silicone oil in the white, and then the black, and then the neon rose. I wanted to see if they turned out differently depending on how we layered the colors in our cup. And I wanted to make sure I got all the paint out of these cups. Um, these these uh, Artist Loft premix ready to pour paints are kind of expensive, so I don't like to waste them. I wanted to make sure I got every last drop out of these cups. I'm going to flip my cups over on my little 5 inch rounds here and then we'll be ready to give them a tilt or lift up the cups and give them a tilt. So when I tilt these I'm not doing anything special, no special technique. I'm just making sure that the top and all the sides have good coverage and everything has paint on it. Same thing here with the cup on the left. We're going to go in and just lift that up and then give it a tilt and make sure everything is nice and covered. I really, really love the neon rose color. Um, that one is transparent, so it's it gives you some really fun depth in your pieces when you use that one because it just kind of sits on top of your other colors. So we're going to just finish tilting this one. Again, no special technique. I'm just making sure the top and the sides are all covered. I'm going to hit it with my torch here, and you'll see the fun cells start to develop. And the one on the left, um, I had a ton of little cells pop up, so I am going to go in and give that one a tilt. I'm just going to tilt some of that so those cells are a little bit bigger. You can definitely give these a tilt after you torch them if you're not liking how your cells look. And this one here, I wish I would have left, left it and not tilted it, but lesson learned next time I will just leave it alone. I wish I wouldn't have tilted this one. So here's how they're looking with the wet finish. I think they're really, really fun. I love this one. It got some really, really fun lacing. and. You can kind of see the pink. There's just like pink little roads or lines in between the cells on that one. And this one here, the pink pretty much took over. I'm going to let these guys dry and show you guys how they turned out when they're all nice and dry. And I wanted to show you guys the cups again. I just thought this was so cool that these cells formed inside the cups after I had set them to the side and done my tilting. And here's how they turned out. They're all nice and dry. This one has a lot of really, really awesome cells on it. And I will link um, these paints and the silicone oil I used down below in the description box if you guys want to get some to try. Definitely give them a try if you're looking to get some pieces with lots of cells. They're so easy to use. You just shake the bottle and pour. I think this one is my favorite of the two. I really, really love the kind of cells slash lacing on this one. So I definitely think I'll be adding a resin top coat to this one. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, 
please go check out a few more of my other videos. That really helps out my channel. I'll leave a few of my favorites at the end card screen of this video. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to that video and you can go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys soon for another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.